everybody. I hope you're having an amazing day today. So far, mine has been fantastic. So if you don't have your Bibles yet, go run, grab your Bible. We're going to do some looking around it today. Um, so I've been thinking lately, I have had a lot more time on my hand than normal. Usually we're all so busy doing so many different things. Um, you're probably busy usually going to school, going to after school kind of things like learning to play the piano or the violin or maybe going to sporting events. And we're kind of not doing that much anymore. So I was thinking, what can we do to fill some of this time that we all of a sudden seem to have? And uh, the answer came to me in the Bible. In fact, it came from Matthew that we've been studying. So go to Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. Now, when you look at those, you can pause me and go look for that. Um, when you look at that, I bet a lot of you recognize that. That is the Lord's Prayer. And Jesus' disciples had come to him and said, Hey, Jesus, how do we pray to God in heaven? And Jesus said, I have the answer because I'm the son of God. And here it is. This is how you pray to God is in the Lord's prayer. You know, and the Lord's prayer is fantastic, but it doesn't fit all the day by day things that you and I go through. So I was thinking, how else do we pray to God? And then I thought, wow, I know. I've listened to Reverend Allie and Reverend Ken talk to God. And wow, they are really, really good at it. And then I thought, you know, I'm not as good at talking like that. I'm not as good at speaking day by day to God. I don't know if I should do that. I mean, God is the all-powerful creator of the universe. I'm kind of a little person. Should I talk to God? And the answer is again in the Bible. If you will turn to Romans 8, verse 26, here's the answer. God says, when you pray to me, the Holy Spirit intercepts that prayer and he makes it sound beautiful to God. It turns out sounding exactly perfect. So it doesn't matter that you and I may not have big words to use or fancy things to say to God. That doesn't matter at all. He wants to hear us and that Holy Spirit will intercept our prayer and make it sound so beautiful to God. And then I thought, well, what should I pray about? And again, the answer is in the Bible. If you'll go now in your Bible to 1 Thessalonians, verse 5, 16, verse 7, 16 and 17, you'll see the answer right there. That Bible verse says, pray without ceasing. Pray all the time. We're supposed to pray when we wake up in the morning. We're supposed to pray as we walk down the street. Let's say we see a beautiful butterfly. We can take a moment and say, thank you. Thank you, dear Jesus, for that beautiful butterfly. We can pray about every little thing because you know what? God is our best friend. You wouldn't want to go days and days without talking to your best friend, now would you? We want to talk to our friends every day. And the great thing is, we can talk to God all the time. So let's do that right now. Fold your hands. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day. You are all powerful. You are all wonderful. You are the creator of all things, and we thank you for all of that. Please watch over us during these coming days. Please help us to pray to you more frequently and pray all the time. In your name we pray, amen. You all have a wonderful day, pray all the time, and I'll catch up with you again tomorrow.